After an opening night loss at Ohio State, Indiana returned to Bloomington with a vengeance, blowing out Michigan State and Purdue en route to five straight victories and a position in the top tier of the Big Ten. They would go on the road to rival Illinois on January 23rd, and with coach Kelvin Sampson under great scrutiny, play sloppy basketball, losing 51-43 to the Illini in Champaign. A return trip to Assembly Hall, an easy win over Michigan, put Indiana at 5-2 in the Big Ten, with number 2 Wisconsin coming to town. And on an unforgettable night at Assembly Hall, A.J. Ratliff's 20 points off the bench complimented D.J. White 16 as Indiana knocked off Wisconsin 71-66, sparking Hoosier fans to storm the court. And after the game, it was clear that this one will always be remembered. Just, it was fun, great college atmosphere. Yeah, it was a good, good experience. Memory you remember for the rest of your life. You know, um, our seniors, I know they'll remember that for the rest of, rest of their lives, something you can tell your kids you know, later in life, so it was just a great experience. You get old enough in this profession, you know, it's to things like tonight, watching their, their, our, our students' faces as they rush to court and our kids in the locker room, uh, how ecstatic they were. Um, now tomorrow I'll, I'll get them back down to earth, but tonight I'm going to let them enjoy it. With the win, Indiana would be in contention for the Big Ten crown, but February would bring five of seven games for the Hoosiers away from Assembly Hall, and it showed. Losses at Iowa, Purdue, and Michigan mounted before a collapse in the second half at Michigan State sparked Roderick Wilmot to vent about IU's inability to play 40 solid minutes away from home. We need to go out there with the mindset, put two halves together, because, you know, we're totally two different teams from the first half of the Michigan State game to the second half. And if we could put the first half that we had together in two halves, we, I mean, everything else to take care of itself. But Wilmont got hot, hitting a record nine three-pointers in a win at Northwestern before closing out the Big Ten regular season with a 94-63 drubbing of Penn State. Indiana would say farewell to seniors Eric Sewer, Roderick Wilmont, and Earl Calloway, who paced Indiana to a 20-10 overall record with a 10-6 mark in conference play. Indiana would finish third in the Big Ten and complete their first undefeated season at home since 1993-1994. Up next would be the Big Ten tournament in Chicago and a rematch with a familiar rival. Reporting with the Hoosiers, I'm Ronan O'Shea, Hoosier Sports Night.